essentially the theatre is a communal act. It's an act of being part of a community. The event of watching a play with a group of other people will never be the same from one night to the next. And I think it's that sense of liveness, that sense of community. I think that people are after that in all their lives and not just in the theatre. I think it's that sense of community which to a large extent feels very broken and which nobody seems to think is necessary to put back together again. Well, I've quite a history with Gary, you know, um, five or six plays before these three, and uh, <clears throat> we know each other and we trust each other on this occasion because it was such a special event, a mammoth event. She must be crazy. But um, it has been reported that I revised the plays. I didn't. I edited edited words out a line here and there are um, for the American audience uh, translated with the help of Dini um, a phrase in Irish but I think that's I mean with Tom the plays are always alive at the time in their own time you know so I've never gone into a rehearsal room with them with a play that he's written previously, but that he isn't hearing it anew with that particular cast. And, you know, if it's only the tiniest of changes, the amount of beats in a pause or a comma here, a comma there, it's always in the present moment, which is what theatre is. I, I'm not there to in, invigorate or reinvigorate a play. I'm there to bring the play to theatrical life, to follow the intentions of the writer, in this case, Tom, to cast it as well as I can, and then to create the circumstance in the rehearsal room that the play is explored as fully so that it's as vivid and alive as possible in front of a live audience. I think it was part of the, the, the desire in Druid, which was there right really from the very beginning, and certainly from the early 80s, to continue to find new audiences wherever they were. And that started us first moving outside Galway, then moving to major cities, then uh, from my experience of amateur drama when I was in university, knowing that there were audiences in places like Top Curry and Clifton, and, and then further afield abroad. So going to Mount Joy was part of that process. It was a, it was a great experience too. This was 2001, uh, a question from the floor. I was doing a public interview with Michael Billington on the Abbey stage, and I smelt something of filthy lucre about that everybody was trying to amass fortunes and they were trying to build towers uh, that were going nowhere. And I was wondering where this money was coming from and where whether it would all end in tears, which it did, alas, for us all. One of the words I, I like least in the theatre is relevance, because I think great plays are always relevant, and I hate the notion that somehow or other, because there's some easy connection with uh, something that happens to be going on at the moment and the world of the play, that somehow or other that makes that play relevant. I think what's relevant is what touches the human spirit and the human heart. And I think these plays always are, have been and always will be relevant.